Comtia just made one of the biggest updates in the certification pathway. And if you're working towards a tech career right now, this could change everything. Hey, they are here at T Professional with several Comtia certifications. And I've got to say, this latest update from Comtia is unlike anything they've done before. So in this video, I'm gonna break down what has changed, what it means for your IT career, and whether the new roadmap still makes sense for beginners and beyond. Now, let's get started. A few months ago, I made a video breaking down the Comtia pathway, what it is, how it helps you break into tech, and which certifications to start with. From IT fundamentals all the way to Security Plus and beyond, it used to be the standard entry route to just follow the Comtia career pathway. But recently, Comtia made a huge shift. They're no longer sticking strictly to their vendor neutral concept they started integrating vendor-specific trainings and completely rebranding their roadmap. Now, the traditional pathway is still there, but it's gotten a few major updates. Let me show you what I mean. Here's how it looks now. Let's go to the Comtia website. And in the Comtia website, you can see right here that um, they've got three sections on the Explore Careers. You got Explore Industries, Explore Tech Careers, and Career Plus. The Explore Industry page, this is actually really, really well done. It gives you data, job stats, and salary insights across different tech fields. And I'll leave the link in the description below if you wanted to just to go and check it out later. Uh, but the main one I want to focus right here, it will be on the Explore Tech Careers. Let's check that out. Okay, so right here it says, the Explore Tech Careers um, is a comprehensive information on tech careers spanning key fields like data, AI, networking, cloud, cyber securities, and tech support. Gain insights into each career path, highlighting roles, responsibilities, and growth opportunities in the ever-evolving tech industries. So basically this section is designed to help you visualize how each role fits into the bigger picture. Now, two things that caught my eye is the digital foundation and the AI. But before we dive into one of these, let's actually go and explore the help desk uh, technician path right here. And as you can see here, this gives you an overview of the role, a few tabs with data in this um, career path. And this career path chart shows what roles this position can actually lead to. And if you uh, click here on view support certifications, it takes you to a screen that lists the recommended certs uh, for this role. To be honest, I like the old version better. It had simple uh, diagram that made it super easy to see where to start and what came next. So if you want to compare it, go check out my original video. I actually walked through to the layout and I even include some downloadable content. I'll leave it right here. Now, so here's, I did notice a few new additions. So an example, this uh, PC Pro, uh, this library suite, and this um, CE, they were not part of the lineup before. So let's just take a closer look at what this is. Uh, so right here, the library suite, for example, is a basically a bundle of subscriptions that um, give you access to multiple training programs across IT fundamentals, cybersecurity, networking, and productivity tools. It looks like it's a subscription base. It has hands-on labs, and I think maybe a free assessment and everything. Pretty impressive, I think. But here's where you start seeing what I mentioned earlier. Comtia is clearly moving away from being 100% vendor neutral. As you can see here, you notice that there is some Microsoft and you can also see there's a Cisco right here. So there's kind of that content is integrated with this um, subscription. Now let's go back to tech careers and see if we can just take a look at uh, digital foundation and AI that I mentioned earlier. So when you click into digital foundation, it expands into more roles that you can pursue things like web developer, um, software architecture and full stack developer. And there's actually way, way more that you can actually uh, explore. Let's click into actual web developer for a second here. And just like the help destination role, it gives you an overview, uh, key skills, salary data and everything. Now, if we go back and actually check the AI, you'll see this different roles that you can actually do. And in the one that example the AI engineer 
you can see similar things like the other one you can see the salary information now now if you see right here in S certifications and you actually go to ai you can actually see here that this brand new ai courses uh designed to give you the essential for the future of tech now if you want to see a full breakdown of 12 career path in tech including what search to get and how much can you earn i made a deep dive video on that it's a long one but it's packed with value especially if you're trying to figure out where to start hey if you find this content helpful just drop a comment below hit the like subscribe subscribe to the channel this channel is actually growing really really fast and your support really helps a lot to um, keep bringing more content and help others into break into tech. So just do it below. Also, before I forget, you also will find a lot of resources and there's going to be stuff in the description that you can actually download. And yeah, this is all designed to help you take your career to the next level or just break into tech if you're brand new. Thank you. Now that we've seen what's changed, let's just talk about what this actually means for your IT career. And whatever this new CompTIA approach is a good thing, or is it just adding more confusion? So what does this all mean for you? The student, the career changer, or the IT pro looking to level up? Well, first, this is a huge shift of how CompTIA see the future of tech careers. For years, CompTIA was vendor neutral, meaning their certification focused on foundational knowledge that applied anywhere. Regardless, you were working with Cisco, Microsoft, AWS, it just, it didn't matter. CompTIA is actually saying that they're doing this to better align with today's tech job demand, focusing more hands-on and role-based learning that matches what employers are looking for. Is there a way to modernizing their pathway to compete with programs from other companies like Google Career Certs or Microsoft Skill Tracks? So it's not enough to just understand the theory. You need hands-on and vendor specific tools. And honestly, I get it. The tech world is moving so fast. Companies don't want just people that know concepts. They also want people that can apply them too. So specifically using the tools that they use every day. So this move from CompTIA actually makes sense to me. Trying to bridge that gap between theory and actual real world application. And that's actually something that I see a lot of new technicians or tech professionals struggling with. Now on the flip side, this also means that the roadmap is actually more complex now. It's not just as simple as just getting CompTIA Plus, Network Plus, Security Plus, and just kind of stack them one on top of each other. Now you have options, but you also have decisions to make. Okay. So if you're starting out, this is my take. Start with the basics, the fundamentals, ITF, A+. This is just only if you're brand new. Move into Network Plus or Security Plus, depending on what direction you actually want to take. But keep an eye on those vendor-specific training they're offering. They might actually give you an advantage when you're applying for jobs, especially if you see those same tools in job advertisements, like their post is there, they're saying that it's a requirement or something that they prefer for you to have. Now, as always, I'm going to say this. You actually don't have to take the ITF Plus or the A Plus or any of the certifications. You can just train for it learn those foundational skills and then move on but pick something you know based on the role that you want to actually apply for so no comte is not actually abandoning beginners it is actually modernizing to stay relevant now it just means that your roadmap now is might need a little bit more intentional planning and to be honest this is what i tell people all the time just don't go chasing certifications just to collect certification you just have to have something intentional build your plan around skills roles and career outcomes certification should only support your journey this not actually defining your destination it don't make sense now two more things i want to cover here i want to be clear i am not yeah. sponsored by comtia or anything like that this is just my unbiased opinion of what actually has been happening so you know just want to make sure that i put that out there and number two i actually found out in their website their simpler career pathway from before so stick around and i'm going to be sharing that with you guys in the video so the real question is is this roadmap still good for you and i think absolutely it is you just got to understand a few things first comtia has always been about building that foundation and i already kind of covered that a little bit earlier but that hasn't changed it's just how you go about it now those certifications they still have their vendor neutral approach what have changed is this now you can actually branch out once you get that foundation before it was just simpler you know itf a plus network plus security plus and then you kind of branch out to cybersecurity 
you want offense defense so all that is still there now you just got more option and you can take those specific trainings for those companies all these are great they got more options now for networking cloud ai and there are great additions that you can just stack just like i said just build that foundation and then you can move on the way i see it you get more flexibility you don't have to commit to one path right away you can explore find your interest and then just kind of double down on what you actually want to do now if for some reason you don't know what you want to do you don't know what actually clicks for you i did two videos that include a tool that i created called a tech type framework this tool helps you identify what is the right path for you that way you don't have to start a road that is you know regret later because you're lost you don't want to do that i will leave those videos down below now beginners listen up you see all these certs you see names all these little things this is when people start getting overwhelmed please don't don't get overwhelmed this is where planning is actually going to help you out do me a favor find that tech type framework videos that i mentioned to you then you're going to start with that foundational level certifications like i mentioned before you don't need the search you can just train for it and get that foundation now once you know your interest you got that foundation and you got all of that good stuff just go ahead and start with those vendor specific trainings depending on the job that you're going to apply for and the route that you want to take pretty much you can come to you as your foundation and your base to get started in your career. So that's the real value that Comtia offers now. Yeah, it's not a simple roadmap anymore, but it's just add flexibility and a few things and boom, you're right where you need to be. Like I say, it makes sense to me, try it out. Don't try to do everything at once. Build your fundamentals, move wrench out, just one step at a time. As promised, I actually found that Comtia simpler pathway. I'm gonna put it here on the screen and I'll leave a link in the description in the comments below for your convenience. Now, if you don't know if tech is actually for you, you're still trying to figure that out, I am building a course for beginners to kind of give you a glimpse of what tech is. It's the Tech 101 by JR, and it's gonna be here in the channel. It's gonna be coming out here really, really soon. So if you like this video, hit a like, subscribe. I will leave those videos that I mentioned to help you find your tech type and see you in the next one, JR out.